Let's look at this picture of the brain. There are lots of parts of the brain, but I would like to focus on three parts that mindfulness impacts. There are certainly others, but these are the important ones. This is the prefrontal cortex. Hello, pleasure to meet you. This is your logical brain. This is the part of your brain that helps you learn and reason. Oh, well that's fitting. This is your hippocampus. Well, hello there. Your hippocampus is where gray matter is, and it helps you remember things and recall skills and information. Well, I remember back in second grade when... Hello. Well, hello there. This is your amygdala. Your amygdala is in control of emotions. Control? Uh, huh, sure. Um, we'll go with that. Miggy, your amygdala controls your fight, flight, or freeze response. Wait, guys, shh. Did you hear that? Oh, relax, Miggy. It's just the wind. I remember a wind in a big storm back in 1990. Oh, be, be quiet, quiet hippie. hippie. When you feel an emotion, your amygdala gets a little bit fired up. Oh, that makes me so mad. And when that is happening, it sends a chemical to your prefrontal cortex, and it actually inhibits you from being able to learn well and can inhibit or stop your ability to recall skills and information. I remember back in... Well, nope, can't remember a darn thing. Remember your breathing exercises, Miggy. Mindfulness and breathing exercises help to calm Miggy down, which can allow your prefrontal cortex and your hippocampus to get back on track. Phew! Oh, I feel better. When we practice mindfulness, it helps us become aware of feelings and regulate our emotions. Ooh, yeah. Guess I got pretty angry there, guys. Yes, now let's explore the reasons why, so we don't get there again. Well, I remember a time back in the third grade when he got real mad and- Oh, be quiet, quiet, hippie. hippie. Feeling sad or upset is a normal feeling. It's what you do with that feeling that matters.